Hey there, good people. My name is Scott, and you are watching Sword and Shield Studio. Right now, we are going to learn how to install Reactor, which allows you to quickly and easily install third party content in Fusion. Right, let's see how we can do that. Okay, so the first step to install Reactor is to download it from the We Suck Less forums here, which I will post a link to this thread in the video description below. But you'll just scroll down till you'll see reactor installer.lua. Left click that link, save the file, and great, I've got it downloaded. Next, you'll open Resolve, go up to where it says Workspace, hit that, hit Console from the drop down menu. Then open the location where you downloaded the reactor installer.lua. Hold left click and drag that on top of the console window. And that script should run and a prompt should pop up that says ready to install. Left click install and launch. And reactor will start installing. Okay, great. Now we've got Reactor installed. Now you'll see a checklist of all the different scripts, tools, and plugins that you can add to your Fusion tab to add different functionality or effects that you might want to use. And after you check something and close Reactor, it may ask you to restart Resolve in order for it to work. But if we see, okay, I've got the echo tool installed. Once you have restarted and installed everything properly, you can just go to your node tree and do shift space. And I'll type in echo and you'll see it is available like any other tool within Fusion to add to your node tree like that. Now, if you want to open Reactor again, all you have to do is go to Workspace at the top, go to Scripts in the drop down menu, Reactor, and open Reactor. And it will update itself and give you this checklist again where you can install additional content at any time. Having an up-to-date package manager automatically synchronized with a Git repository is super helpful. Being able to add new functionality to your Fusion tab without ever leaving Resolve is a great feature. And it's awesome that there's a third-party community out there supporting this. But that does it for me. As always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the information within it helpful. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the channel to receive updates as I upload weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials. I'll see you next time.